Hello there everybody, this is me Ethan here and welcome back to another video. Today is a very special day because today is December 25th, 2020 and it is Christmas Day. If my hair looks a little bit crazy and a little bit whack, it's because I just woke up around two hours ago or so. I'm still in my pajamas actually, but who really cares? I mean, it's Christmas Day. So today I'll be showing you what I got for Christmas and before I get into it, I would like to say that I am thankful for everything I got. So let's go ahead and take a look at the small stuff first and we will work our way up. All right, so starting off with the small stuff, the stuff that I got in my stocking. First off, I got a Lego Harry Potter minifigure. This was Neville Longbottom, a very nice minifigure. The robes are pretty basic, but I really do like that monster book of monsters. That is a fantastic piece right there. Really like that along with the hair piece. And I got two of them actually, so that's pretty cool. I guess the more the merrier, and maybe I'll trade this in at Rips of Minifigs or whatever. Now next up I got a lot of money from relatives actually, so this is my wallet. Now I'll go ahead and count it up real quick because I forgot exactly how much I got. Since I am now in Colorado and I no longer live in Texas, I am not there for the holidays to see other family members and relatives, so they just sent over money, so I have a lot more than I usually do. And I have $160 total, $175 with my chore money that I received for this month, and I also have a gift card coming from another family member. Keep in mind I'm very grateful, and normally I do not get this much money. And if you're wondering what I'm going to pick up, it'll most likely be the Lego Razor Crest from the Mandalorian, mainly because I didn't get it this year, sadly, so I have enough money to actually get it and a couple of 2021 sets. Alright, it's Ethan in the future here telling you that Ethan from the past actually forgot to share two other things that he got for Christmas. For Christmas Eve, I got this gaming headset. It's pretty nice. I mainly just use it to watch videos with. Not super big on gaming, but I do like playing video games every now and then. It is very high quality and it's pretty comfy. All right, so now we're working our way up and taking a look at the actual Lego sets. First off, I got the Lego City 60253 ice cream truck, 200 pieces. It's a $20 set, I believe. I really wanted this last year and I was never able to get it, so I got this from my parents. I own the original Lego City pizza truck and I really love that one. So to get the ice cream truck is even cooler and I think this one's honestly a little bit better. Next up, we have the Lego Harry Potter 75967 Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter with 253 pieces, two, four, five minifigures. A lot of good minifigures. I like the Centaur and Umbridge especially. Very great minifigures. I love this guy's build. I can't remember his name, but he is really cool, and I really enjoy this build. It's one I was going to get with my birthday money, but I just never ended up getting, so I'm happy to have it now. And for the next gift, I'm actually going to take you guys off the tripod because you may have noticed that my lighting is much better. That is because I got this very awesome ring light and it can change colors with this remote somewhere. So here you can see with this remote, I can actually adjust the brightness if I want to. So I can make it even brighter or lower. And I can also change the tint of it. I can change it to a blue color or a yellowish color, but I really like this white and nice and bright. So pretty cool light. So I'm very happy with this light. It's kind of just this off-brand one, but as you can see, it actually looks really good on camera, especially whenever I put something up close like this. It looks absolutely phenomenal and I'm so happy with this light. Now next up, you may have seen this gift in the background, it is the Blue Snowball Ice in Black. If you don't know what this is, this is a microphone, it is very high quality, pretty cool, it's Discord and Skype certified, I use Discord a lot. So that is very cool to actually see that it's Discord certified, it is a very high quality uh, microphone. This is kind of my big gift that I got from my parents, and it has some very clear audio, I haven't tested it out yet, still need to plug it into the MacBook whenever I start editing and I'm going to test it out, it's going to be pretty clear audio so expect some very high quality videos upcoming this year with this very awesome microphone it's even got a little tripod so i can use it during live streams and stuff which will probably be the first time that i use it on the channel so that is a really cool thing and i'm just very happy with this and this is probably my favorite thing that i got this year for christmas all right, everybody, so now we are getting a little bit bigger. This is a gift that I got from my grandpa this year. I was not expecting this. This is the Lego Ninjago Legacy Kai Fighter, 513 pieces. I don't know how much this retails for. I've actually kind of recently been getting back into Ninjago thanks to Apprentice Builds. He's done some minifigure videos, and the minifigures in these Ninjago sets are really cool. This is one that I've actually been eyeing. I have the original one, or at least some of the pieces, so I'm very happy that I get to have the new one. I especially like those Nindroid minifigures. I think those look really cool. The Lloyd and Kai are also pretty interesting. So I'm very happy to get another Ninjago set. Maybe this will get me back into Ninjago. 
Now next up, we're getting a lot bigger. We have the Lego Harry Potter. Oh, it's not even in the frame. The uh, Hogwarts Clock Tower. Maybe I'll take you guys off the tripod so you guys can see it. This is the Lego Harry Potter 75948 Hogwarts Clock Tower with 922 pieces. If you guys don't know, there was a GameStop deal for this set a while back where you could get it for 27. So I'm pretty sure my parents utilized that deal and took it to their advantage. Some very cool minifigures. So I am very excited to add this to my Hogwarts Great Hall up there. I still need to get the Whomping Willow. I don't know when I'll get that, but very happy to get this. I wasn't going to get the advent calendar just because those three minifigures are already in the advent calendar, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get it if it's on clearance or whatever, but a very cool set and I cannot wait to build it. And the final thing I got, which is actually the largest thing, is a drone. I got this from my grandma. I don't know how much this actually is, but I just put it at the very end because it's the largest thing out of everything, at least box-wise. It looks pretty cool. It only records in 720p, but hey, at least it's HD. It's got four rotors, 3D flight. You can take it outdoors. There's autopilot, altitude lock, all this cool stuff. You can take videos with it. So I'm very excited to actually try this out. I've wanted a drone for a long time, so it'll be very interesting to try this one out. So there you guys have it. There was my entire 2020 Christmas haul. I didn't get as much Lego as last year, but that is completely okay because I did get a lot of money from relatives, obviously. Normally, I would get more Lego if I was there with them. And also, I just got a lot of tech-based stuff this year compared to last year. Obviously, an entire drone, this light, which I absolutely love the way it's looking right now. But I have to say my favorite thing is definitely the blue snowball mic. I cannot wait to use this in some more videos. I think it's going to improve the quality of my videos drastically. It's going to sound so much better, so much more clear, and my favorite Lego set that I probably got this year would have to be the Hogwarts Clock Tower, or this year for Christmas, excuse me. But the one that I'm most excited to build first is actually the Kai Fighter, just because I haven't built a Ninjago set in a while. So what was your favorite thing you got for Christmas, and what did you get for Christmas? I'd love to hear in the comment section down below. So if you guys all did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, and have a great day, and have a Merry Christmas.